Hi, it's Rachel O'Connor. I'm the Clinical Director and Principal Psychologist here at the Therapy Spot here at Palm Beach. How you all doing? It's uh, very interesting times at the moment and I know that a lot of you are struggling to keep in touch with the changes that are happening so rapidly and the things that are occurring. Today we found out the Queensland borders have shut, uh, are shutting and a lot of the things that we like to do are gone. Uh, gyms, restaurants, cafes, places where people meet, weddings are being cancelled. There's lots of changes afoot and happening. And I suppose I want to talk about change today and I want to talk about how we can cope with it with all of the things that are going on. Because um, it was interesting, my, my last client uh, was really struggling with it and telling me that they hated they hated coronavirus i hate it i hate everything about it it's ruining my life <laughs> and that's the first one i've heard about i've heard lots of different people being sad being worried about what's going to happen with their life but this one was interesting and and i think it's 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 fun to kind of be aware and notice that the life um you know, we all have different emotions and different responses to what happens and we're all different people, of course we are. So um, I kind of talked about that emotion with her and we worked through that and, and I think when we look at change, and all of us would know people who deal with change in different ways, with this coronavirus and the changes that are being enforced by our government, there's very little that we can do. And the important thing is to just focus on what is within our control. So what is it that we can control? Um, how do we choose to respond to this? Uh, Viktor Frankl, uh, amazing man, um, said that we have our own... They can't... I can't remember the famous quote, but it's something along the lines of it's our decision how we respond to trauma. It's our decision how we respond to environments. And I really hope I don't get this wrong, but Viktor Frankl was a doctor who was in the concentration camps in Auschwitz. And um, he worked hard to look after the people that were all around him. He was given the opportunity to leave and escape with other people and he decided to stay and help where he could with his knowledge and when he finished he made when he was released thank god he survived he wrote a book called man's search for meaning which is probably one of the best books we can read if we get stuck in isolation and that book is about how we can find meaning in the darkest of places we can find meaning regardless of where we are or what's occurring and that regardless of how things change or how people treat us, we can decide how we respond. And I know that we're not in Auschwitz and I know that it's not terrible and I know that the restrictions that are being placed are restrictions that are being placed to protect all of us so that this coronavirus doesn't spread as rapidly, but it does have an impact on us. So the question is, how do we respond? Do we respond with hate? Do we respond with anger? Do we respond with these sorts of things? So the young woman that I was seeing earlier today was really upset that her social life was going to be impacted. When you're young, your friends are everything. Your friends are your connection. Your friends are your joy. You know, looking for young love. How do you meet someone? How do you meet your partner? How do you date in social distancing? Wow. How do you do that? Um, very tricky. So what we got to the point was we focused on what we could control and what can we control? What we can control is that even though it's your birthday and you were going to go to the restaurant, you can have a virtual birthday. So you can still order the food, you can set up a Zoom link and you can all talk to each other on the Zoom link. So you can drink, you can eat, you can do all those sorts of things. But instead of doing it in person, you do it much the same way as you and I are talking right now. But you can talk to each other in real time. So I think what I want you to take in mind is that you can focus only on what you can control.
and what we can control is our response or how we arrange our days or what we do. So I've made a tip sheet actually and um, it's kind of late at night, I think we're hitting seven o'clock so I might put it up tomorrow. Uh, a tip sheet that'll help you keep calm, it teaches you some very basic and simple ways to redirect, calm yourself and centre when you're facing these different changes that are happening. So I will throw it up on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll let you know closer to. Looks like there's tips to keep calm, but facing the right way. Yes. Uh, take care, everyone. I'll, I'll check in a couple of days and um, see what else we can do. Bye-bye.